um morning guys so today is friday and um it's 1 23 in the morning we are about to leave limpopo to go to zim it's gonna be a long and interesting trip i hope you guys can hear me just wanted to introduce the vlog again and yeah we'll see you guys as we leave as we are on our way <laughs> bye 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 I'm so not, dark I'm not gonna be 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 so crusty <laughs> Bye bye. Best, best, best. The beam is just chilling out there. Like life is good. <laughs> like life is good. <laughs> Do you have the lights on? Good morning, guys. It's a it's a latest document. Ah, but this is what it is. <laughs> hey guys, so um, right now we are. I'm not sure if this is. Oh, please close the window. I'm not sure if we are at Bait Bridge already, but like there's this long queue of cars. Um, and oh, then this is where the queue starts to go to to Bait Bridge. Mm. Uh, this is the time. It's seven o'clock now. So apparently, this is where the queue starts to go to Bait Bridge. And um, it doesn't seem like this queue is moving, guys. And we don't even know what documents they will want from us here. So, in guys, but again, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, there's a clown who's reversing now. Oh, let me guys, let me show you guys this two of cars. So this is the current situation.
and behind us if you guys can see and we got this loft and this one and not that crazy long one yeah For so whatever reason hopefully that means something good yeah hopefully so yeah guys um that's the situation that we in currently hopefully we'll be gone here very soon guys it's a good thing that we actually bought food we bought some pies so i already ate my pie um because i'm not trying to get hungry and get stomach aches oh sorry goodness booba so yeah guys just thought i'd update you on the current situation over here so we'll just wait and see how long this whole process is going to take but hopefully um we don't struggle you guys i mean we've left south africa gone to lesotho why does it look like people are coming to do a toy toy here from behind <laughs> yo <laughs> <laughs> guys like let me just open the door and show you guys why <laughs> okay people are coming to do a toy toy booba i thought you were exaggerating hey hey look at it it's tough you guys hey baba band yes in so bonny zindaba zimbabwe so bonny zindaba Pay up, Papa Wand. I can't see. I go by foot. I want to take the car. I go to Tafu. I go to Tafu. A bait bridge, bait hole. Let me go out for a bit. Yo, there's more people. There's more people. But um, that time now, when I go out and take a video of all of this, but now they're gonna see the camera and they're gonna think. I'm videoizing them. <laughs> and then you are. And then they attack me. Yeah, when well, now you will be. Uh, <sighs> hey, Yan. Current situation at the border. Nine zero zero eight. Thank you very much. And your employer? I'm freelancing. Okay, okay, okay. And your email address? Michalimagua at gmail dot com. Thank you. That's where we should. That's where I should send the border letter. Yes, please. Hold the line for me while I'm requesting it for you. How many drivers are you going to have? I'm going to need two, two. names and ID. Two. Okay. So it's. Is it ready for me? Okay, it's ready. Thank you. So I'm still about to, and I have to go and open it. Then all for me. Okay. Okay. So just for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Issues on issues. Okay, guys. So right now we're just trying to get all of the documents that we need to cross the border. Um, the car details, and there's a cross-border letter that we need to get from the bank. I need to put the email here first. Okay. Yeah. Oh guys, it's crazy. So right now we are walking out of the border to there's a shell garage here. We need to print out the documents. Oh, 
I'm actually so mad that we didn't know about these car document things. We're used to traveling. Mm. We're used to traveling to Lesotho and traveling to Lesotho and passing the border there is so simple. But yeah, clearly Zimbabwe is very difficult. So now we're just walking to try and find a place to print out our documents. It's just crazy. It's so full here and it's so hot. So yeah, that's the situation guys. Moments later. Uber. I want to get. Can I eat it? It's in the complain about get cheese, babe. Can I eat in the video? I'll to complain about get cheese. It's in there. Excuse me. Oh, what is it? Yeah, <laughs> 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 hey guys, so we are finally done at the South African border side of things. So we've switched and I'm driving now. Um, we, this is the bridge. We're at the bridge now. I'm going to show you guys now now. But we're at the bridge now and we're just waiting to go to the Zimbabwe side of things. So... So now the time is half past 11. So we are about nine hours and few hours away from Zim, from Harare, where we are going. And oh, guys, like, I really hope that by one o'clock we can be out of here. Because if we leave at one o'clock and we have like nine hours to go plus, we're going to get to our accommodation at like 10 o'clock, past 10. Uh, and that will be quite a mission guys because I mean it would be nice to get there and relax and wind down After this very hectic day that we are having So Yeah, it's just crazy. I hope the queue from this side from the Zim side just goes a bit faster because good tough guys But yeah, it is super hot. It is super hot and we didn't prepare for this because we didn't put any sunscreen on but i think when we were standing in the queue there i took out some sunscreen and we put some on because you all guys i don't have sunburn clay but yeah it is what it is 
So just wanted to update you guys and I guess we'll see you guys when we are back on the road again and out of the border now. Peace out. guys so we are finally done here at the border with all of the many different things that we have to be paying going up and down this place in the immense heat yo but some guys i don't even know how many degrees this heat is at but we are just getting fried here and now it's 20 to 4 in the afternoon that time we still have like nine hours plus to go to get to them and uh, we haven't eaten this whole day guys we last ate in the morning um we last ate in the morning at this point i don't even know what time we're gonna get to them but one thing i know for sure is that we're going to be exhausted when we get there we are just going to be so exhausted <sighs> yo guys I sham and you know what we thought that we left early in Limpopo at like past 1 p.m. and we really thought yeah past 1 a.m. in the morning guys <laughs> and we really thought that you know what it's gonna give us a good chance but <laughs> It doesn't seem like it has done anything because of just how slow and terribly backward the processes here are guys I don't recommend I don't recommend driving to them in fact at this point I don't think I recommend driving to any African country like Aisham I don't know I don't know but yeah so now we're in this like very long we don't even know how we're gonna get out of here like we are just stuck we're stuck but at this point i feel like we're gonna have to drive in the dark like we're gonna have to drive at night to go to zim that time we thought we we did everything in our power to avoid, to avoid that children screaming yeah they are just going through a lot so yo what's wrong guys i shame kuri as a human being you just hope and pray that you don't be born in zimbabwe because i shame no offense but no ways this is not on so yeah i just thought i'd update you guys and yeah, I will see you guys later because yo, hi, Shem, I'm tired. Like I'm really tired. So yeah, guys. Just do a last update because it's gonna get dark. Yeah, I'm, I'm, done. I'm maneuvered. I'm maneuvered. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. Yo. Hi guys, we've just we've been through a lot, hey. We've been going through a lot. So um we stopped after we passed the bridge. We had to go and get food, pour petrol, uh what else? Buy a um a few things that these people have been selling us and saying they're important and all of that. 
But now the issue we were having is that we didn't have cash. We didn't have cash. Number one, because we didn't even know how much to withdraw. And the thing is, we didn't know that if we withdraw, are we going to be able to use our rent money this side? So we didn't want to withdraw and thought that, okay, if we use a card, it's better. Because anyways, you don't know how much we'll need to withdraw. But guys, literally everywhere we went, they required cash. At the border, we had to pay so much money. They were requiring cash. And we passed the and we, we actually left so we went to a, a, a gas station that's where we bought food and we poured petrol again we left there at six o'clock guys imagine we got here we got to zim by the border at like seven in the morning seven o'clock and we left here 11 hours later at 6 p.m so oh guys it's just been crazy so now, you got it. Yeah, I was just taking the distance that we are about to travel uh, seven hours, yeah. 45 minutes minimum. Uh, oh, it's coming back. eco-cash something called eco-cash to pay for stuff here like pay for food pay for the toll gates and she said that if we have issues and we can't pay with our card then um she will do the eco-cash payment thing on her side when we get to the first toll gate they tell us that nope we cannot pay with eco-cash and we can't pay with the card mind you guys like the cash we had was depleted and we struggled so much to even get cash oh guys it's just been a nightmare it has just been a nightmare but anyways we are on the way now again um, we've passed the first toll gate apparently there's about three more or four more toll gates to go we passed the toll gate how oh that lady had to pay for us she had to pay for us they stopped us and said we must park on the side of the road and we were there not even knowing what we we're going to do so they felt sorry for us and then they paid for us the 30 rand so now we're back en route and yeah so at the next toll gate now we have to hustle we need to find someone <laughs> we need to be begging people to give us cash and then my friend can do an eco cash into their account or whatever, however it works. Like some sort of an e-wallet, explain eco cash. Yeah, sort of like an uh, EFT type of thing, e-wallet thing. So yeah, guys, um, that's literally how things have been. It's been tough. We have been goishing, but at least we're on our way again now. Yeah, um, the road here, it looks like it's a bit okayish. Hopefully it stays like this. So anyways guys, it's gonna become dark now so and probably um, our camera battery is also gonna get charged at some point. So I think we're just gonna catch up with you guys maybe halfway through this trip um, if we are able to or if anything else happens. But yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, um, let's zoom this in. Um, no. Hey guys, morning. The time is three minutes past five, and guess what? We are still in the car. We have not reached our destination and we've been traveling since 
yesterday 1 a.m we left limpopo at one past one ish last night so around midnight last night uh we got to the border at seven in the morning we spent the whole day going through the processes at the border and we drove through the night you guys we left the border at around six we drove through the night now it's 5 a.m in the morning i think we got to the outskirts of harare here around uh, around what time babe Puba's mm-hmm. sleeping guys he's too tired <laughs> no, so. so we were exchanging we exchanged so i drove from harare throughout the night up until um, we were left with like three hours to arrive where we were going and then Buba took over so that I can now also sleep a bit. Um, so, yo oh guys, God, I don't even know what to tell you guys, but it's just been crazy. So when we are about like 38 minutes away from our destination, we started getting lost here in Zimbabwe now. 38 minutes away from our destination. Which was our friend's cousin's place because now we couldn't get a hold of the lady um, from the accommodation where we booked. So, it's it's just been a mess. Like, it's just been messy, guys. Oh, it's been a nightmare. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Anyways, we started getting lost around three lost we've been driving in circles here in zim can't find a proper road to take us where we're going um gps was just taking us away from the main road and to these gravel roads that just were ending up in dead ends um i'll try and insert a picture here of like one of the dead ends that we reached because guys at that time we were so stressed in jay we were just trying to figure out what's going on. There was no time to vlog at all. And we were driving in the middle of nowhere. It looked so scary in the bushes. And, yo, oh, guys, it was just a mess. So, we finally made it. At some point, I was just like, oh. And we were communicating with my friend this whole time. Shame. She didn't even sleep. She's going to be a tired bride. Like, <laughs> she's going to be such a tired bride. Because now she has to... You know, stay up the whole night. But, yo, guys, it's been hectic. Now, we just stopped on this main road because we cannot figure our way to the CBD or to town. So, we're just waiting for my friend's dad to come and fetch us here. Guys, like, it's what? Six minutes past five and Zim roads are so busy. Like, it's so busy. From around three o'clock here, there were people walking in the streets. While we were busy getting lost, when we get to the main road, in the gravel roads there was no one, but eh, in the main road, guys, my poor husband, my poor booba bear, mm-hmm. oh, guys, my person is so tired, ah, it's a good thing I'm actually a good driver because, well, if we didn't take turns driving, if I couldn't drive and my husband had to be driving all by himself, it would have been a mess. It would have been a mess. So, yeah. Anyway, let me show you guys how busy it is here. Okay, our windscreen is very dirty, but I hope you guys will be able to see. The windscreen is very dirty So I don't think I can show you guys But Yeah guys we are so tired Like we are so tired Even me thinking of just doing this update now It felt like a mission So um, what are we going to do now We are just waiting to be fetched Then go to our accommodation Sleep And Hopefully wake up um, in time for lunch 
then go have lunch at my friend's place and yeah so we'll just update you guys later on in the day because really i'm so tired so yeah guys we'll see you guys later